There were some changes on the Patriots' offensive line for their Sunday game against the Las Vegas Raiders. I'm Sierra Goodwill here with Evan Lazar. We know David Andrews, their center, was placed on IR. They moved Joe Tooney to center. He was taking snapping before the game in warm-ups, so we figured out he was going to be the Andrews replacement. The rookie on Wenu stepped in at left guard. How did you think that the offensive line performed given all of the changes? dominant effort honestly and this is not a good Raiders defensive front it's not a good Raiders defensive line one of the worst I would say in the league both in run defense and pass rush and the Patriots made it look that bad for the Raiders and I think the one thing that really stood out Michael on Wenu, the rookie left guard for the Pats he's played a little tackle he's played a little tight end as a sixth blocker played guard yesterday the highest graded player on the Patriots offense starting at left guard in place of David Andrews obviously with Tooney Slide over to center the fact that they have found this guy in the sixth round in the first three games of his career no preseason no real training camp no lead up to the year everything we've always talked about with the rookies and on when is going out there and putting up elite grades and pro football focuses system as a starter on the offensive line already is extremely impressive and i think the one thing that really stood out he only allowed one hurry you know we talked a lot about the run blocking and it was superb but he only allowed one hurry in pass protection as well so he He's holding up in pass pro, which I think a lot of people coming in thinking in his draft stock was going to be an issue with him being able to change directions at 340 pounds and mirror guys on the inside. Well, that wasn't an issue for him yesterday. He was a bruising run blocker, as he normally is as well. So really, uh, they didn't skip a beat. It's not a great competition, like I mentioned, but it's impressive nonetheless that Michael Onwenu in the first three games of his career in the NFL is posting some great, great performances and putting some awesome stuff on tape already. Well, we know the run game benefited from the offensive line's play on Sunday, 250 yards. Sony Michelle, 117 of those. Rex Burkhead had a career high three touchdowns, and he praised the offensive line for giving him those opportunities. Is this level of play for the running back sustainable, or is their success directly correlated with the dominance of the offensive line? Well, 90% of it, it's going to be the offensive line, which is true for most running backs, right? That's the big sort of analytics argument with the old football guys, the old football heads, is that it's really about the blocking that you're getting and not the guy that's carrying the football. But that being said, the Patriots right now are on pace to have a ridiculous running season, even with the game in uh, week two against Seattle being kind of a dud. Right now, they have a 52% success rate on runs, meaning that they're at least getting half the yards to a first down or a first down on third and fourth down at least 50 percent of the time which is pretty crazy it's better than what baltimore put up last year in 2019 with lamar jackson their epa per rush is higher than baltimore's was last year by far first in the league in both of those categories epa per rush and also success rate so they are just churning out yards on the ground they are dominating opponents on the ground and that's a facet of their offense that you know listen we we get into this discussion of running the football versus passing the football and all the analytics gurus are going to tell you that throwing the ball is way more efficient than running the football but when you can be a dominant rushing attack like that where you're really churning out yards and successful runs over 50 percent of the time that's when it becomes a little bit more on the other side of the spectrum of this is a dominant trait for this offense it's a dominant way of moving the football not necessarily turning out four yards per carry we're talking about closer to five and a half yards per carry that's a big difference and that's something that you can lean on offensively and then hopefully you know Teams start walking those safeties down in the box and they start loading the box up and trying to really sell out to stop the run. And that's when you incorporate play action and you start hitting those bigger plays in the passing game. Well, for all of our Patriots coverage, you can find it on our website at clnsmedia.com and on our YouTube channel at Patriots Press Pass.